Word on Cancer back at the uh, annual meeting on women's cancer with SGO, and we're here with Dr. Lim. Uh, why don't you introduce yourself, where you're at, and um, what your primary focus of your medical practice is. Sure. Um, my name is Peter Lim. I'm a gynecologic oncologist, and uh, I'm at Center of Hope at Renown Regional Medical Center in Reno, Nevada. And what are, what are some of the main focus of your medical practice? What are some things, the, as obviously a gynecologic oncologist, but what are the same the things you focus on in treating? My, my primary focus, uh, prim uh, robotic surgery. I do 80% uh, of my surgery robotically. Uh, I always tell people that I am a pelvic surgeon, a GYN oncologist first, and robotic sur uh, surgery is a new innovative technology that I employ to give benefits to my patients. Today they've been, we've interviewed some, uh, there were some of the abstracts presented here that there may be some over-marketing of the robot. The robot's new and flashy and they're, they're talking about that they use words like state of the art and that, in your opinion, uh, what are some ways that patients who are coming in and need surgery can have a balanced approach to understanding what the best surgical approach for them is? Sure. Just to let you know, my background primarily, I was a laparoscopic surgeon. And I, um, after I finished my training, I did a lot of laparoscopic surgery and I was limited in doing laparoscopic surgery, particularly oncologic surgical procedure. And the reason why we were limited is because of the technology uh, that uh, laparoscopic surgery, the rigid instruments and all. Uh, some of the uh, oncologic procedure cancer operations that we do is very complex that uh, for surgeons, uh, one would, when I was doing laparoscopically, a cup, if I could not do it laparoscopically, I would convert it to an open procedure. Now it allows me, the, the robotics technology has allowed me to uh, complete these uh, procedures through minimal invasive surgery, through uh, so small incisions, and patients end up benefiting for those uh, uh, less complications, shorter hospitalization, and um, faster recuperation period. What do you think? As you, you've obviously grown in your surgical skill with the robot, what are you? What do you see as your uh, dreams that are moving forward to the robot as things? Uh, change advance and the technology advances and the and the skill advances of those who are using and running the robot i look at robotic surgery very much like the application of cell phones 25 years ago when cell phone just came to view so the, it was very bulky <laughs> uh, the application was li very limited and now we live in the world of iphones or smartphones if you will not and Basically, it allows us limitless uh, uh, technology applied to benefit our, uh, 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 our lives. And this is no different than robotic surgery. Uh, robotic surgery is still, in many ways, in infancy. <laughs> Uh, they're constantly developing new products, uh, uh, new technology that will affect uh, uh, patient care. And I think that's the important thing. The, uh, um, uh, I heard the same uh, 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 lecture today about the, um, the state of the art, so does the marketing of robotic technology. You have to remember, robotics uh, uh, surgery in gynecologic surgery world is very early in its infancy. It's only about seven years old, if you will, okay? And as more and more, as we gain more experience, the very early results are very promising. If you look at laparoscopic surgery in the gynecologic oncology world, there was only about a 20% adoption rate over a 10-year period for GYN oncologic surgeons like by ourselves, okay, because the learning curve was so tremendous. For the, uh, in a robotic surgery, in the last seven years, the adoption curve is 70% by the surgeons. So clearly, that says something. It is the state of the art. What we're all finding out, and there are more and more reports that are coming out, is there's a very common theme, less blood loss, <laughs> less complication, less pain, faster recuperation period. 
As a surgeon, last question, um, what is something that you can do with the robot now that you never dreamed you could have done as a surgeon when you were first trained as a surgeon? Is there things you go, I would never thought I'd be able to do that? Well, I do almost everything robotically. 80% of my practice, the only thing I will not do at this point in time is advanced stage ovarian cancer procedure where it requires multiple procedures and it's important to get all the cancer out. So I think ro the robotics technology as it is now today uh, does not, uh, it's not quite there yet. Do I think it will get there? Yes, I think it will get there. So I treat advanced stage endometriosis cases where bowel resection is required or have to uh, uh, excise a certain portion of the bowel because of the disease I do robotically. In the past, I wouldn't be able to do that. Radical hysterectomy for cervical cancer or pelvic exenteration, endometrial cancer, uh, nerve sparing, radical hysterectomy. So there are a lot of different applications to it, uh, uh, not only for the gynecologic oncology patients, for, but primarily for benign gynecologic surgery. Great. Awesome. Thank you very much.